We would like to talk today about our study to be published in British Journal of Urology International, which focuses on the role of alkaline phosphatase in hypogonadal men, men with low testosterone. Alkaline phosphatase is commonly used as a measure of bone turnaround and the risk of osteoporosis in women. Much less is known about its role in men. In this particular study, we focused how does the low testosterone affect bone mineral density and specifically alkaline phosphatase. We used alkaline phosphatase because it can be performed in any lab in the world. It's easy to measure and it's a reliable marker of bone turnaround. However, we did not have a good understanding at which level of testosterone the negative changes on bone mineral density start to occur. So we established that in men who have testosterone level less than 250 nanogram per deciliter, we notice significant increase in the levels of alkaline phosphatase. The higher the level of alkaline phosphatase in the serum, the higher chance that a patient has osteopenia or osteoporosis. The next part of our study was to show whether alkaline phosphatase can be used to monitor the response to therapy. So what we showed that alkaline phosphatase with testosterone replacement therapy decreases, and you can measure this and check in three and six months. Patients who achieve normal testosterone levels, we showed statistically significant and dramatic decrease in the alkaline phosphatase. We wanted to look whether testosterone therapy will increase bone mineral density. And what we showed that in men who take persistently testosterone over two years, there is a 20% of increase in mean bone mineral density. The difference between other studies and ours is that we corrected for compliance and we only analyzed the men who persistently took their testosterone levels. And I wanted to have a marker which can be used anywhere in the world, which the lab in the United States, the lab in Africa, the lab in Asia can use it, perform, and that's why we think it's clinically relevant and important on international scale. And that's why we thank the editors of British Journal of Urology International for selecting our paper to be featured. Thank you.